Mr. Bow from MrBowEnglish.com. Uh, we've been doing the quadratics uh, unit in uh, Khan Academy Algebra, and uh, we're on the solving by factoring. Uh, let me get rid of this window here. Then solve it, solving up by factoring uh, lesson, and this is our third uh, our third video in this lesson. It's going to be solving equations using structure, and uh, Hopefully you uh, you were in my class for this, <clears throat> or your teacher covered this already. We're going to talk a little bit about it, but it's a it's a really super super important uh, method in uh, in math, and uh, you'll use it all the way up, all the way up until uh, the highest levels of math. You keep using this method uh, because what it does is it takes something that's really too complicated and it brings uh, bring makes it simpler. Or puts it in a form that we can solve, and then we uh, take it back after we solve uh, solve that form. Then we take the the form back up to a little bit more complicated one again, and solve that. And uh, it works everywhere, everywhere in math. So to, let's take a look at it, an example here. <clears throat> so our first question tells us the substitution, and uh, most most of the times you're going to have to identify this yourself. So we're going to find this thing x squared, this expression, x squared plus 6, and every time we see it, we're going to replace it with the, the variable p. And uh, so we have x squared plus 6 squared, x squared plus 6, quantity squared, minus 21 is equal to 4 x squared plus 24 um, and I'm going to identify that I can pull out a 4 from here so I'm going to have x squared plus 6 so it's 4 times x squared plus 6 so now we have x squared plus 6 squared minus 21 and now every time I see x squared plus 6 I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to write a p instead. And it doesn't have to be a p, it can be any variable, <coughs> uh, not x, <laughs> any variable other than x. So there are some that we don't want to use because uh, we use them for other stuff all the time. So after we get rid of this and make this substitution, we end up with uh, a different equation. I'm going to subtract 4p from both sides. And I'm going to end up with p squared minus 4p minus 21 is equal to 0. And uh, this looks a lot like everything we've been doing for the last 15 videos, uh, except we've got p instead of x or t. <clears throat> so we're going to solve it by, by factoring. So I want something that multiplies out to be negative 21 that adds to be negative 4. So let's see. I have negative 3 times 7, and that adds up to be 4. And I have 3 times negative 7, and that adds up to be negative 4. So those are my factors. And I end up with p plus 3, or p minus 7, is equal to 0. Uh, so I have p equals negative 3, or p equals 7. All right, <clears throat> and it looks like we're done. Oh, wait a minute, I went, over, went ahead. Uh, after this, we'd go ahead and and, uh, and substitute this back in. I got a little bit excited. I went over over our goal here. Uh, so uh, when we after we substitute, what do we end up with? We end up with this uh, equation here, which is which is this one, and that's all it's asking for. It's not asking for us to solve. Okay, so this one doesn't tell us, and we're going to have to find uh, find the substitution on our own. Negative 6x minus 14, and I can identify that I can pull out a negative 2 here, and I end up with 3x plus 7. So I have this 3x plus 7 here, and I have this 3x plus 7 here. I'm going to substitute 
Uh, and I'm going to substitute Q because, I don't know, I want you to know that you can use anything. It doesn't have to be P. So uh, when I see 3x plus 7 here, I'm going to write Q. And uh, 3x plus 7 here, I'm going to write Q. So I have, wow, Q squared is equal to negative 2Q. So uh, I know that uh, Q squared plus Q is equal to 0, or Q times uh, 2 plus 2Q, or made mistakes everywhere right there. Q plus 2 is equal to 0, so I know Q is equal to 0, or Q is equal to negative 2. And we do that all the time. Uh, and it looks like we're done. That was really easy to solve, right? Much easier to solve than, uh, than this one up here. But uh, we're not done yet. We're going to substitute the x back in. So instead of q, I'm going to write 3x plus 7 is equal to 0, or 3x plus 7 is equal to negative 2. And I've got uh, minus 7 and uh, divide by 3. And I, so I've got uh, x is equal to negative 7 thirds. Over here I've got uh, minus 7 and minus 7. I've got negative 9 and divide by 3 and divide by 3. And so I've got x is equal to negative 3. So I have x is equal to uh, negative 7 thirds or x is equal to negative 3. And it wants one value, I'm going to write negative 3, because that's the easy one to write here. Alright, let's look again. Um, we have 3x minus 2 squared minus 4 is equal to 9x minus 6. I want to see that I can uh, pull out a 3, so that's going to be 3 times 3x minus 2. And now I can see I have 3x minus 2 in both spots. I want to make that r. There's no reason, no reason for, for r, just I don't want to keep using the same variable, and then maybe you think you need to uh, use that variable too. We have a variable that we can use that... Uh, tells us something that, that that's the best choice, but uh, there, there, this isn't a word problem, so this isn't a real world problem. So after I uh, substitute r for 3x minus 2, I get r squared minus 4 is equal to 3r, or r squared minus 3r minus 4 is equal to 0. So now I, I want to factor. <coughs> So I want something that multiplies to be negative 4. One, negative 1 times 4, and that's 3. That's not negative 3. And I've got 1 times negative 4, and that's negative 3. So here we are. So I've got x plus 1. It's not x. It's r. <laughs> r plus 1 times r minus 4 is equal to 0, so r is equal to negative 1, or r is, say r, right x. r is equal to 4. And now I want to go back and I want to substitute. What is r? r is 3x minus 2. We made up r. There is no r in this problem. We just, uh, we just made up something to replace this piece, so we can use that piece all together and don't get ourselves confused. Minus 2 is equal to 4, so I've got plus 2, plus 2 is 6, and then I've got x is equal to 2, and I've got uh, plus 2, plus 2, I have 1 divided by 3, so I have x is equal to 1 third. So my two answers are x is one-third or x is equal to two. So let's find two. 
All right, and we have uh, one more here. Hope you guys are getting the the hang of this. Uh, this is not that difficult. It's just two steps. So we have a we have a really complicated uh, equation like this, <clears throat> and sometimes it's not actually in this form. We, we massage it. We we move stuff around to put it in that form, and then and then we do the substitution. Uh, you'll see that when we're doing completing the square. <laughs> so. Uh, it's giving us the substitution, 6x plus 5, and the question is, what is the equation with m? So this one is going to be pretty short. So I've got uh, 6x plus 5 squared minus 10 is equal to negative 18x minus 15, and I see that I can uh, pull out a negative 5. No, that's not what I want, a negative 3 here. and I'll get uh, 6x plus 5. So then if I replace these with m, it gives that to me, I get m squared minus 10 is equal to negative 3m, or m squared plus 3m minus 10 equals 0. And where is that? m squared plus 3m minus 10 is equal to zero. All right, that's how uh, uh, solving by structure or solving by substitution works. Um, <clears throat> keep uh, keep thinking about this because uh, you'll see it again and again. This uh, this uh, concept of of, of uh, making something uh, making something simpler so that we can solve it and then uh, substituting back in. You'll see that in trigonometry, see that in calculus, see that in everywhere. Um, so, so get used to it and try to get good at it. If you have any more questions, uh, get a hold of us at MrBowEnglish.com. Thank you very much. Mr. Bow English, Rapson, Nakrien, Tangta, Bosan, Kunpai, Tang Internet, Nang Satai EP, Krap, Hu, Son, Tai, Chuiti, Dog, Hu, Jang, Lu, Pai, Website, T www.mrboenglish.com